I grew up traveling in the backseat of my family's wood-paneled station wagon. Getting lost fills my soul. It's who I am. It's embedded in my DNA. I'm on a mission to explore and experience every country on the planet, visiting the craziest, most unique places and people in every corner of the world. I'm Jim Kitchen. Join the journey. The highlight of my time in Tunisia was visiting the Medina, the old city, and the souks, which are the markets. And I have seen a lot of souks in my travels across the planet, and this was one of the best and the cleanest souks. Today I'm in the cake souk here in Tunisia with my friend Hamim. All right, so what we do here is we're making some dates, right? We have some, we have some wheat, we have some olive oil, and we have some flour. And then we take some date. All right, so we roll this stuff up, Put some dates in the middle, yeah? Roll it up. All right, pound it out, all right, to give it this nice texture. And then we cut it, right? Cut it, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we fry it in All right. Then we take this stuff right here, deep fry. All right. Yeah, let's see what we got here. All right. All right, now check out. Check it out. Look what we got here. That's what we got. Oh yeah, let's. Oh yeah, say more, no? All right. Hey, did you know that Tunisia has 86 million olive trees and is the fourth largest producer of olive oil in the world? Huh? Who knew? All right. Anyway, I'm in the capital city of Tunis, in the Medina, which is the oldest part of the city, which dates back to the seventh century A.D. And I'm currently in one of the old souks or markets with my friend Hatem, who makes the shishia, the traditional hats worn by men in Tunisia. Now these hats are knitted from wool, from five needles, which takes about a day, and then they're soaked in hot soapy water to make felted wool, and then brushed by thistles. Now these hats used to be worn by men to protect them from the sun during the summer and the cold during the winter, and they're so fashionable that although they were worn by men, that now people of all generations, boys and girls, men and women alike, are wearing them all over the country. Now this is a size 52, which is too small for me, so I'm gonna need a 58. Where's my 58, is this my 58? Uh, yeah, 58, all right. This is my size. No, no, this is it, uh, this is my size. All right, this was the hat worn by Gaddafi? Gaddafi, Libyan people. So Gaddafi likes this one, and this is for the ladies. Tre, tre magnifique, and this is yours, my friend. Yes. All right. It's fine. Thank you for having me. When you fly into Tunis, you can't help but notice the stark visual difference to this city of two million people. It's painted white, and I mean the entire city is white. So keep your eye out for pops of color here and there, like in these beautiful doorways. And an interesting, this place has an interesting combination of European and Moorish architecture. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep exploring and learning about the rest of the world. Join the journey.